out there. How are you doing? <laughs> Welcome to the show. This show is called On This Table. On This Table is the show where we'll bring you issues confronting life and the world at large. And of course, bring possible solutions to these life issues. Okay, <laughs> we need to take a breather. Before I tell you what we're going to be talking about today, let's go on this very quick break. I'll be right back. King's Prime TV, your one-stop entertainment platform for life spot, news, top-notch Nollywood movies. Please log on to www.kingsprimetv.com or download our app from the Google Play Store or iOS to get entertainment just the way you like it. Welcome back. Are you ready? Hey, because me, I am ready. <laughs> okay, I have a guest in the house and his name is Mr. Chooks Iwe Rogo. Okay, I hope I'm not going to be fine for pronouncing your name like that. I am sorry. <laughs> you will be fine first before the apology. Okay. <laughs> okay, so uh, today we want to know, we're going to be asking, who do we blame for a child's bad behavior? Mm. Well, okay. So, Mr. Chooks, um, first of all, let's let's really get to know uh, when do you say a child is behaving badly? Okay, it's um, very necessary for us to understand what bad behavior is. Of course, of course. Okay, for us to actually appreciate this uh, subject. Mm -hmm. Well, first of all, I would say um, bad behavior means misconduct. Mm -hmm. You could say it means um, delinquency, mm -hmm. misdeed, mischief, mm -hmm. uh, disorderly conduct, mm -hmm. rudeness. Okay, so these are part of the um, nomenclature we use to um, qualify um, bad behavior. Okay. Bad man is also bad behavior. Okay. And so um, when um, a child um, has got a bad manner, is rude, is disobedient, um, has got misconduct, that's when we say that child has got a bad behavior. Okay, so um, let's talk about misconduct. What are the things that a child would do and then you say that, okay, this child is behaving badly? I mean, let's, let's get to break it down and then let's understand, um, uh, um, give us some examples. Okay, yeah, um, it's, it's, it's quite easy to notice a child um, behaving badly a child um, not um, conducting his or herself um, goodly. Okay. okay, for instance, um, when a child disobeys parents at home, okay, okay that's a bad behavior. Uh -huh. Okay, when a child um, doesn't greet okay. or doesn't greet properly yeah. her, his or her elders, uh -huh. that's a bad uh, behavior. Uh -huh. Okay, when a child is rude, okay, a child has got a bad behavior. Okay. okay. So there are very many other things um, we can actually observe at home that are not right. As long as it's not right, it makes it bad. Mm -hmm. okay? okay, that's those are the examples of um, bad um, behavior or bad um, conduct for a child. Okay. So um, when a child does not greet, mm -hmm. who do we really blame for that behavior? We blame the parents, obviously. Okay, okay. you see, um, the parents actually. Uh, more like um, 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 a foundation, mm -hmm. okay, for children. Yeah. Okay. Um, all um, um, good stuff the children need to learn are actually passed on from parents. From the parents yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. These are these are the people who give birth to them. Yeah. They own them. Mm -hmm. So is their responsibility to nurture them? Mm -hmm. Is their responsibility to guide them? Is their mm -hmm. responsible to train them, to teach them? Okay, okay. to encourage them. Uh, okay, as they grow up, mm -hmm. so um, they are the first point of contact with these um, children, mm -hmm. and so uh, at that point, what they have to exhibit in the lives of these children need to be uh, positive stuffs. Okay. So the, the the parents are the first point of call, uh, children's um, attitude or behavior. So obviously, the the, the parents um, need to be blamed when a child, uh, for instance, doesn't mm -hmm. greet them properly. Yeah. Now, okay, we know that there are some times where 
parents inculcate good morals on these children. Now, um, there are some, there are some, we've, we've, seen, um, we've seen situations where parents come out to say, ah, I trained this child very well, Lou. I don't know what happened along the line. So how do, as parents, how do you make sure that your child is not badly influenced? Okay, um, yeah, there are um, areas or examples where we see a child or a parent um, train a child yeah. and um, somewhere along the line that child um, picks up um, bad habits from outside the home, mm -hmm. okay, there are exclusive um, examples, okay, or situations yeah. um, um, like that. So um, the onus is on the parents to actually be very observant Okay, you observe by watching the child, by listening to the child, um, for you to be able to identify those awful things or uh, characters or attitude the child has picked up. Okay, you said by watching the child. Yeah. You agree with me that you cannot be with this child two, four, seven. That's right. Okay, so in that case, how, how as a parent, how do you get that confidence that, okay, wherever my child is, whether I'm with my child or not, I know that my child cannot be influenced. How do you how do you build the child to um, to say no to bad influence? Yeah, um, the thing is this. You know, children have different stages of life. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. from um, babyhood, okay, they grow up to become adults. Yeah. Firstly, there is the um, formative stage or the formative years of um, a child, a child. Mm -hmm. okay this is, a, this is a period when they they, they grow up mm -hmm. and the first point of learning okay they learn from you the parents yeah. they see what you do mm -hmm. they hear what you say mm -hmm. okay and uh, they imbibe whatever it is that you teach them they are, they are so eager to learn at that time and whatever they learn sticks to them yeah in a very um, telegraphic way in their minds, okay, these things play out. So I believe um, at that period, the parents need to take advantage of that period mm -hmm. to groom these children, okay, at that age. Um, when you, you train a child from that age up to um, an advanced or a more advanced age, um, that child will definitely learn to live with what has been inculcated into him or her, okay? Um, it will lead the child, okay, into living good, no matter the age the child is. It's going to be like um, a lead to them to know when to do what and when not to do what, okay? To know what's good and what's bad, okay? Now, the rest of it could be just the environment or the society mm -hmm. or friends or environment influencing them, mm -hmm. okay? That's another aspect of it. But then, when they have got this training from age, mm -hmm. they definitely know um, this is good for me, this is bad for me, okay. and then they, they, they stay away um, from what it is that is bad. You know, okay. as Christians, we, we, we know of a particular um, popular Bible scripture that says, turn up a child in the way he should go. Oh, yeah. Yeah, when he's old, he will never depart, depart from me. me. That's yeah. fact. Uh -huh. That's fact, okay? Uh -huh. um, um, you just do your best as a parent. Play your part, uh -huh. because that part is needed, okay? Um, such that uh, when that child um, grows, um, yeah, he will be able to say no to bad stuff, okay? The bad attitude, uh -huh. okay? Even if even if that child becomes influenced in some way, I mean, the child will know that there should be a, a retrace yeah. of step. Mm -hmm. That's basically it. So the first point of call is for the parents to really, really train the child, teach the child, uh, groom the child, nurture the child into what um, he wants that child to be. Okay, so um, um, everything now boils down to communication. Sure, sure. Okay, so do you think parents of these days are really communicating effectively with their children? Well, um, with what I've seen mm -hmm. these days, mm -hmm. okay, picking out those two um, scenarios, um, I don't think they're doing much. Okay. Yeah, I don't think they're doing much. There's actually a breakdown of... Um, of um, 
morals, mm. moral values yeah. in children these days. Mm. Okay, there are certain things um, personal that I see, and um, I keep wondering. I mean, um, what is it that um, these parents are teaching these um, children, children today? Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. the very basic things that they need to know or need to learn how to do. They don't do it these days. For instance, I always hammer on greeting. Mm. Okay, mm. these days we see children here in this part of the world um, not caring about um, greeting their elders. Yeah. Okay, except they are being uh, reminded by their by parents. Their parents. Yeah. But they don't need to be reminded. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. it, it's something that should just flow from them. It's just a natural law. You see someone whom is older than you are, you just have to greet that person okay there are very many other scenarios where we see this breakdown in moral values and part of the children and um i think the the the, the parents have a, a a larger blame to take for all this okay so um we're still talking about communication now. yeah so as a parent what are what are the major things you need to teach these children what are the things that they really need to know i mean that would help them become good children. What are the things, if you as a parent, if you want to talk to your child, mm. what are the things you need to tell that child? Okay, it's very important that you teach a child to be respectful. Okay. Right? A child needs to be respectful, mm -hmm. okay? Um, respecting everyone and his or her environment, mm -hmm. okay, not just the parents. Okay. A child needs to be respectful. Mm -hmm. um, a child um, needs to be polite, okay, okay? in your dealings with people even with other children of your age you okay. need to be very okay. polite we'll, we'll, still, we'll still come back to this conversation yeah. let's go hi i'm tanala and i'm a mother a barber a hairstylist a model and i also enjoy doing outdoor activities such as golfing hunting i spend a lot of time with my horses outside of the city um, as well as when I am in the city, I'm always doing other things, activities with my daughter. And I enjoy watching King's Prime TV because it has so many ways that I can use on my devices. I can use it on my laptop, I can use it on my cell phone, I can use it on my TV, I can use it on a tablet. My daughter can use it while we're driving. It's just so diverse and I enjoy using it because it inspires me as an Aboriginal person. Uh, to have that kind of aspect in our culture, King's Prime TV just inspires me. I'm just intrigued. In Africa and beyond, more and more people are finding King's Prime TV a rich hub for entertainment. With a monthly subscription fee as low as 500 Nigerian Naira or 3,000 Naira annually, you too can enjoy seamless world-class HD entertainment that will inform, educate, entertain, and enthrall you. Join us today. Visit www.kingsprimetv.com to enter into a whole new dimension of entertainment. King's Prime TV, entertainment just the way you like it. Welcome back. So we are asking the question, who do we blame for a child's bad behavior? Okay, so back to you, Mr. Chooks. You've talked about um, a child being polite, a child yeah. being respectful, okay? Yeah. What else? Yeah, um, a child needs to be... Um, also a humble mm. yeah I, 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 oh God, I don't know but um do, do parents really teach their children how to be humble well like i said uh, it's actually a breakdown of moral values these mm -hmm. days okay and i consider um being um, humble to be a great moral value of course yeah sure you don't need to look down on um, other children mm. for some reason yeah. or the other yeah. maybe Maybe your parents are well-to-do. Mm -hmm. I mean, you just need to understand the fact that um, not all fingers are equal. Are equal. Firstly, firstly, the parents need to understand this and um, inculcate it into the child. Okay? You, 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 know, you know, before a parent will inculcate this um, humility mm -hmm. to a child, that parent needs to actually be humble. Exactly. Because I've seen parents who talk to their talk to their um, domestic staff anyhow yeah and then the child grows up and does the same thing yeah so i think um it's um it's like um um, um a chain a chain a yeah, chain reaction yeah mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah yeah that's it yeah like um i pointed out um this children in their formative age yeah. okay 
learn by what they see yeah. by what they hear mm -hmm. okay so um um these are avenues to them learning mm -hmm. okay so you would need to do yourself a whole lot of good by playing out the right scenario mm -hmm. for them mm -hmm. to witness and to imbibe mm -hmm. also mm -hmm. that's it mm -hmm. okay so um when um, parents um talk to the domestic staff for instance as you stated earlier without knowing it that the kids pick these things up okay and um I, I think um sometimes um because it's in them to be rude mm -hmm. they wouldn't care mm -hmm. if um their, their their words or their children exhibit this kind of uh, behavior fact, yeah. okay yeah but this is this is a part of the behaviors that are not um um good um for for us in society, mm -hmm. or good for children in society, okay? Yeah, yeah. So they need to be um, stopped at any means um, necessary. Okay. That's it. Okay, so um, as a parent, mm. if you find out that your child is deviating from the good moral values, how do you retrace that child's footstep? Okay, um, it's very important that you communicate, okay? okay? Because um, you are the main custodian of um, this. Um, mm -hmm of your child okay yeah um you know um i i, I remember a part of um the bible for us were christians where it's that they spare the rod and you spoil the child okay it's it's basically talking about um chastising chiding the child okay so um you need to communicate and you need to be so 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 sensitive in that because it's a very sensitive mm -hmm. thing you need to do more of um, um sensitive communication mm -hmm. empathetic communication mm -hmm. than a critical communication okay now you let that child know that this is wrong mm -hmm. and the need to retrace is her steps mm -hmm. okay you need to amplify the importance of them um, displaying um, good characters. You need to um, loudly um, sing it into them mm -hmm. the importance or how necessary it is for them to um, um, have good um, behavior. That way you'll be able to you know, retrace, make them retrace and get back to what it is that you want them to be. Okay. So it's basically a thing with um, communication once you have noticed that you 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 call the child and um you 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 let that child know um that he or she is deviating mm -hmm. yeah you just need to let them know and um admonish them seriously mm -hmm. seriously admonish them i mean you, you, you need not fear that you are being too strict, being too strict yeah. or too disciplined mm -hmm. okay because that discipline is needed it is that discipline that they need okay that they need to 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 maintain their good behavior but, in um, life. Being too strict, I know that there are a group of persons who say that being too strict to your child uh, makes the child run away from you. Well, it's got to be, for me, a combination of strictness and love. Mm, okay, so they should yeah. blend it. It should be blended. Okay, it should be blended, right? Yeah, yeah. And um, you have to combine both okay you that's like using one hand to flop the child and yeah, using the other hand yeah to drag the yeah child. more like the characteristic approach you know you 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 admonish the child you bring that child back in love mm -hmm. and uh, make that child understand that it's for his or her good mm -hmm. um, that's that's just it and um you need to combine being open okay with your child mm -hmm. and also um, giving them some measure of discipline mm. at the same time. These are the combinations you need, okay, for um, a child to um, stay on that lane where you want he or she or, uh, to, 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 to be. To be. Okay. Yeah. So now, um, for me, I have been thinking about this. I mean, children who um, are easily influenced, does it have to do be with um, self low esteem? Okay, children who are easily influenced, um, well, naturally, um, kids have got um, low self-esteem. Oh, okay. Yeah, children have got low self-esteem. Okay. okay. 
um they want they want to use the same toys their friends yeah, 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 yeah exactly that, yeah they, they easily, easily feel like um they left out Mm, okay yeah okay yeah, yeah i know i know sometimes yeah. I, I i remember back then when i was a kid and if i see mm. someone maybe uh, um my my mom bought something for my brother mm. i want that same thing yeah that same particular thing i remember okay. one time <laughs> i was crying that i wanted to go to a boarding school yeah. because when my brother <laughs> i'm sorry i'm just being silly right now you know uh, um, uh, um back then when my brother was when my brother was ready to go to school, uh, uh, my uh, my mom got provisions for him, the cereals and all of that and all that, and it made me envious. So that was the reason why I wanted to go to a boarding school <laughs> so that they would still buy the same beverages and cereals for yeah. me. So I think I think I, I can I kind of agree with you that mm. children have that low self. -esteem. Yeah, yeah, and that's a bigger problem. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, they need to be learned to be content with whatever it is they have. Yeah. I mean, the earlier you start teaching them some of these things, mm. um, the better. The earlier you start teaching them some of these things, um, th the more they understand. Talking about being uh, um, 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 content now, yeah. I mean, uh, I'm, just, I'm just looking at it in this scenario. What if that child feels that you're not showing enough love? I mean, I have this book and my child wants this book. I mm. mean... Shouldn't I give my child the book? If I have the resources, why shouldn't I give my child the good life and give my child whatever he or she wants? Well, with um, having the resources, yes, you can as long as um, it will play a positive role in that child's life. Okay, is it yeah. not you um, teaching the child that, okay, you can have whatever you want? Isn't it a problem? It, as long as it plays a positive role in that child's life and, um, and, um, the child is of age okay to use such oh okay okay so mm -hmm. yeah i think um basically there's nothing actually wrong with that okay, okay. So, so you're trying to say that sometimes deny the child whatever he or she wants yeah sometimes sometimes you can okay yeah sometimes you can um it's part of the training mm, okay for okay. them to understand that um they can always get what it yes, is what you, you want, want. Mm -hmm. okay in life okay so children with um children um whom um um have got that low self-esteem mm -hmm. you know they need to be um you know brought closer can okay, need to be brought closer you know so that um they understand that um they don't need to feel um, left out, left out. That's okay it. okay mm. we need to take a breather right now let's go on this very quick break we will be right back My name is Bukola. I'm a dedicated wife. I'm blessed with two beautiful children. I am the creator and the creative director of In Between I Stand. And the beautiful thing about the King's Prime TV is it's an app. I can decide to use it on my television. I can decide to use it on my phone. And of course I have an iPad.